everyone welcome back for another episode from on down the road productions and this episode is another opportunity for us to use four-wheel drive high it's one of those situations where it'll be a mix of two high four high i want to thank everybody for making our last video with the forerunner on this topic so successful really appreciate that you made our day here all right guys if you're new to the channel these are the kinds of things we do with our trucks and motorcycles let's get into it 20 minutes later Okay, everyone, really, I'm not going to uh, brush off any snow. This should come off with the wipers. Just a light dusting of snow today. You can see some of the, um, some of it here. Like I said, cold start, forerunners warm up very quickly. Let me open this up. Alrighty, everything's fine in here. Hold on. I am going to do a cold start. And you can see here, just go here, foot on the brake. Go over here, get these going. I'll do this for the heck of it too, get the rear defrosters going. Just a dusting of snow, no problems. Let's get motivating. Okay, just gonna pull out here. I like to throw it into four wheel drive high when the wheels are straight. Okay, Virgin Road in front of us and just very quickly, that's it. And it'll blink for a second. Phenomenal traction with the four wheel drive systems on the Forerunner. And I think once I get out to the main road here, I won't need the drive high. And I can just accelerate like I want. Really good braking. So I'll go back to two wheel drive high here, right about now. Back into, back into two wheel drive high. There's still snow on the road here. Let's do a traction test with two wheel drive high right now. No problem so far. Come across here. On this one, someone had asked us if it's like this, do you want four wheel drive high? I say it's the uh, driver's judgment call. I can do two wheel drive here, high. Uh, looks like the wheel tracks are clear, but there's still snow, potentially ice, that is on the surface into the pavement there. I'm gonna go back to high. There, just okay, like that. You can see behind me that the rear window defroster, it's doing its thing. That's cool. So yeah, I mentioned that last video, again, with the Forerunner during a snowstorm, the four high demo video I did as it happened. Thank you again, everyone who supported that video. And it's still doing good, going strong. I think I had maybe 10 people or less, roughly around 10 people will write me and claim it wasn't a snowstorm. <laughs> you know, expecting me or us to get into an argument with them over the weather and making some pretty outlandish comments. That was a perfect day for four wheel drive high. The majority of the film was uphill on a five lane road, duck traffic in front of me, that semi truck, the spinning out Camaro. I know cameras can capture only oh so much. It was treated like a snowstorm on that Friday going into Saturday. It felt like a snowstorm to me. I get it, a place like Colorado might get a heavier snowfall or Buffalo. You know, that's pretty petty to, to claim that the weather I was in was not severe enough and I didn't need four wheel drive high. And then some idiot moron wrote me and said, that Camaro would do better than this truck and too, too high on that hill, which again, I disagree with. Uh, that Camaro had racing tires on it. I can't do nothing about the petty people that are out there. I wanted to get these comments in because you know, we're pretty laid back and easy going here at this channel. We love everyone, even the people that, that want to be haters. Today, it's not so bad. It was just a light dusting, very light dusting, still going on. Driving to meet someone I know for breakfast, so I thought I'd do some vlogging via the truck here and I'm doing that. Hope you guys are having a great winter. I'm excited about biking season, motorcycle season coming up. I am looking at the logistics for Daytona Bike Week this year. Do not own a Harley. I like to ride A1A and sit at some of these restaurants along A1A and grab breakfast and lunch. I love it. You know, I'll check out some of the uh, Daytona festivities for sure. Let's see if I can run across any other YouTubers. The uh, intent of the trip is just for me to go down there, relax and recharge. Back in 2021, when I had gone to Daytona Bike Week with uh, Teresa and her mother, I just woke up every morning in St. Augustine and rode south on A1A 
It's beautiful every morning. One thing I was surprised about, this was during February of 2021, was how cold it got at night riding back around St. Augustine riding back late at night. One of our greatest tips here is if you want to go to Daytona Bike Week, it doesn't matter what bike you bring, staying in St. Augustine lets you ride south on A1A, get in a good hour, hour and a half ride, maybe two and a half hours into Daytona, taking your time, looking at the ocean, stopping where you want to stop, and then hanging out in Daytona, and then if you want, riding south on A1A, whatever you want to do. Strategically, I just want to show you guys what I'm dealing with. I am in four high. It just came down a hill. Here's traffic. It's early in the day yet, and I have a few more miles in front of me. Just want to show you guys what I'm dealing with. go definite four high day again and I've got a two-door Jeep in front of me I have to say I do like the look of the two-door Jeep I don't like the look of the uh, engine bay though on a two-door Jeep or four-door Jeep for that matter like I stated I prefer four high because while some of the road is fine for two high there are still portions where you're hitting snow on the road and ice on the road sometimes that's hard to see off a of camera film. I want to film this road sequence here coming up. I still have that Jeep in front of me. This is why I'm in four high. Here we go, people. So here, it's a nice twister going to the right, and then you're, sh and then you're dropping sharply downhill. And even this Jeep is slowing down. I don't know why. I'm doing some light braking here. And then here, I want the four high on for traction so I don't go off the road, potentially, not that I would. And he's going that way. And you can see a plow truck there. It's probably for a company. It's not a uh, public roads snow plow. They're out trying to make their money too. There it is, okay. Okay, this'll be our last four high sequence today. I'm in four high, now two high, could work on this but you can see the roads aren't salted or anything I have no issue using for high then here the center lane obviously is requiring for high for safety reasons and then here I'll take it back into two high right now that'll be the uh, end of the four high part of this video hey I just want you guys to see this I'm in too high because I know there's some petty people out there that will claim all I needed was too high check this out I'm not getting great traction in too high in this parking lot here's the parking lot and let me give it some gas total wheel slip on the rear you can use four high on days like today there's no question <laughs> changed it but they've made gradual improvements to the forerunner fifth gen year after year and my favorite improvement that they made to the fifth gen forerunner right now is the adding of toyota safety sense it totally lowered the insurance cost of the vehicle versus my last trd Pro. just want to show you guys how this truck did on the drive not too worse for the wear these stock tires offer great snow traction you can't take that away from me and they are the uh, Grand Tech AT20s. And so I just want you guys to see how the truck did. Uh, it's dirty a bit, but not so bad. Thank you for watching another episode. Uh, this was a borderline four high day. I did both two high and four high. Thank you guys for supporting our channel. Our growth has been exponential and I'm grateful. Very awesome, uh, the support we're getting right now. I say thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I truly do. It was a quick one. We really enjoy the fifth generation forerunner. I had said in that video, the snowstorm video for this truck, that if you have a 4Runner, it's about more than just fuel economy. It's about your total ownership cost. When you factor that in, it's a bargain vehicle right now. All vehicles are an expense. As an expense, you can't go wrong with a 4Runner. It protects your money the most with no recalls and high resale value. Okay, guys, until next episode, do the best you can. That's what we try to do every day. Take care of each other. You know, these are tough times for everybody with inflation and... A divided country so you guys just do the best you can and be good to each other and try to be understanding of other people and have empathy until next episode we appreciate you and we'll see you next time